This is a bowl and this is the diaphragm. And together we're going to explain what the hell is painted on me right here. We have the deep musculature from the back side of my body. You're seeing it from the front view. So imagine that all of my intestines, my abdominals, my transverses abdominals, that's just gone. It's pulled away. You're seeing the front side of my spine. This is the psoas major, minor. This is the quadratus lumborum, which is actually in your back there. And then this, this whole thing right here is your diaphragm. We're looking at it from this view. So if you imagine your diaphragm is kind of like this bowl, upside down, holding like this, inside your rib cage. Now we're getting this kind of view. So this part of the diaphragm is this part of the bowl. And this part of the diaphragm is this part of the bowl, inside. That's, that's the view you're looking at from the bowl here. Now when you inhale, the diaphragm contracts and pulls air into the body, into your lungs, into this cavity, the bowl. And as you exhale, all of the musculature in your rib cage, your abdominals, the backside, all this stuff exhales and pushes the air out and the diaphragm sinks back into this bowl shape, like so. Ta-da, I'm gonna break this. So, <laughs> what we have, now, an important thing to note here is that the psoas actually comes through and connects to some of the fibers of your diaphragm. So when you're doing your hip flexor stretches and all your exercises, it's really important to focus on your deep inhales and full exhales. Because when you're exhaling all the way out, that diaphragm is lifting and it's going to pull on those fibers of your psoas. You're going to get an even deeper stretch when you're working on this tissue. Another thing, I have a little bit of an innate control of the diaphragm, the abdominal region here, just the ability to control the diaphragm a bit more, like you are able to wiggle your ears. So when I stick my belly out here, I'm actually contracting the diaphragm outward. And then many of you have seen abdominal hollowing, full exhale. Being able to then lift that diaphragm. So you can really see how it is kind of a bowl shape inside the body. Uh, last thing, we've got the inferior vena cava for Raymond. This is actually where your heart is going to be pumping the blood right through here. And the aortic, what is this, hiatus coming through here. So your aorta would be going along the spine there. So if you're ever massaging deep inside your belly, you might feel your heartbeat. That's because you have a giant artery coming through here, your aorta. Cool things. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. That is your diaphragm and bowl example. Thank you. Goodbye.